It is Friday morning, 13th December, Friday the 13th. Hope there's no ominous stuff with that. But the day we've been waiting for, I'm on my way to Georgia, to Chris's house. Been on the road for about two hours now. Got on the road at 5.30 this morning. I don't know if I got up about 4.30, got the coffee going, got my road coffee, and uh, you know, packed up that last little bit of stuff. I had to get my camper bag, my, uh, my little bag of my computer, and all that stuff in there. Do all the cold stuff, got stuff out of the freezer, stuff out of the uh, refrigerator, threw that in the cooler, threw it in the, in the truck ready to go so it was really just just the cooler the cold the cold stuff you know and the my electronics and threw that in the truck and filled my coffee cup kissed the wife goodbye even though she was asleep trying not to get any drool on myself from her sleepy drool and then uh got on the road so I had to wait until the sun came up a little bit so I daylight to actually do the camera thing here but the nice thing is there's no traffic I'm heading north here the weather's good there's a little bit a little bit of rain drizzle we should I think we're gonna have a little bit of rain all the way through uh, if we get out in Alabama I believe the weather report looking like obviously it's gonna get colder and colder as we go it was seven or 68 degrees in Tampa this morning when I left the house. So I was wearing shorts and a t shirt in December. Uh, I think I'm going to put my, my jeans and my boots on when I get to Chris's house. So it's going to, temperature's going to drop drastically as we head north. So the weather report looking pretty cold up there in Kansas. Like we're probably gonna have some snow Sunday and Monday, uh, which is gonna make the camping a little bit interesting. But uh, man. already a couple accidents this morning. But yeah, the temperatures looking like we're gonna have everything from highs everywhere from the 20s to the 30s, maybe 40s, the lows as, um, as low as in the teens right now is what it's looking like. The weather has been changing a lot though the last couple of days, so we'll see what it looks like for today, any updates. Uh, but, super excited, I'm uh, pretty anxious to get there busy but we got a long we got a long haul ahead of us six hour drive from my place to Chris's place and then we're looking at probably about an 18 hour drive from his place so we're gonna do the right thing and take our time take it easy pull over you know when we need to and uh, you know, just be safe so I, absolutely no reason for yourself in a bind. I know all too many people that have gotten seriously injured or killed doing what we're doing because they didn't do it smartly. So that's one of the things, like being in the military, you know, guys get a long weekend or get some leave and depending on how far away they are from home, they want to they drive home to where they came to their, their hometown and see their family, see their friends back there and cheaper to it takes a lot longer to drive but obviously it's usually a lot cheaper gas wise you know if you don't have to get a hotel and all that other stuff guys just try and drive straight through and it's unfortunate you got you, know, you got to use your head be smart about it so that's what we're going to do we got a, our families back home and we've got you know, people that we don't want to Leave alone because we went did something stupid. So, any 
any rate, I'll give you an update here a little later. But the uh, the trip has officially begun. Chris is uh, finishing up the schoolwork at the house this morning as he waits for me to get there. gonna be a good time follow along we should have a day-by-day -day series out of this trip so I know Chris has got some content for the week on his pre preparations I got some content from some preparations and then you know putting together a day-by-day -day as we uh, get up there and get busy with the with the hunt so, looking forward to getting all this out to you all so we can share this experience Hopefully inspires some of you to get out and do this kind of stuff yourselves. So we'll have a discussion about that here at some point as well. About encouraging others to get out and do these things as we finally took the leap last year to do this. So, as always, thanks for following along. Talk to you again soon. Made it to Benning. Getting ready to pull up to Chris's house. So Pretty good drive, six hours. Stopped twice to go to the bathroom. But uh, yeah, made it. We're gonna get everything unpacked and then repacked and ready to get on the road. Let's go. What are you waiting on? I'm ready. Come right, the truck's ready to go. Yeah. We don't need any of your stuff. Let's go. Let's just go. I need my bow. Well, you might need, need that. Well, we got it. It's all loaded in the. That's <laughs> Yeah. Here at the back. Back is loaded up. Back behind the seat. This is definitely loaded up. I got the trash got taken out. Yeah. I think Chris brought too much stuff. Yeah. Well, first off, we like to live on the road. Well, on the way to the gas station. And then on the road. Yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> Only, uh, what, 17 hours? Yeah, well, if we don't stop and pee, we're just going to use pee bottles, right? Or eat. <laughs> or eat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And the adventure begins, well, this part. The first part is over. We're all packed up. Ready to go. I think, uh, I think we might have a full load. Yeah. <laughs> so... Get some diesel and uh, be on the road. We're only 15, 19 minutes late leaving. So, no big deal. Here we go. Pit stop. Got a couple monsters. Got the driving monster. Woo! He's got a red one. I got the white ones. Yeah, they are the rock stars. Oh, man. Yeah, no rock stars. While we're in Memphis, Making some progress. Turn that light on. We five, got five and a half hours down, ten and a half left. That's it. That's it. That's it. Are you alive? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn, let me turn on the uh, face tracking mode. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, we don't see any weird stuff in Memphis like we did last time. Well, last time we did roll through at like two in the morning. Yeah, there's some weird stuff in Memphis at 2 in the morning. Midnight or something like that. Yeah. That's a little, a little weird. Yeah. It's a little weird. Right. Let's do this. See you in Arkansas. Also known as Arkansas. We made it to Selena. We're almost to our destination. Real quick trip to Wally World. Yep. Pick up a couple last minute things. All the stuff we forgot is really what he means. Yeah. <laughs> if you ain't forgetting something, then yeah. it's so, a real trip. Yeah. Well, let's go do some Walmart, and then we're going to do... Breakfast. Breakfast. Yes. And then camp, shoot bows, go shoot a deer. Yeah. Maybe shoot some ducks. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs>
Almost there. Almost. We just got off the highway. Yep. We got what? Oh, back. Onto another highway, but yeah, county. Oh, small highway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just got off the interstate. We're on the regular two lane. About 20 minutes away. We'll go get camp set up. And shoot bows. made it to camp yet and we've got a whole bunch one two three four five six seven eight nine nine does came out of this bottom over here where we'll be one of the spots we'll be hunting nice so up on top there's a wood ticket yeah up on the back side i bet you that's where they're running to oh that's exciting They're just sitting here looking at us. Now they're looking back at that back whatever oh. back there in the woods. And that's uh, probably nice. That's super exciting. That's a bunch of does. Got some honkers. the second big flock we've seen well we are officially at camp same place that we were last year super excited this is pretty awesome right, set up over there. It's hot. Just so you know. Did you touch it? No, I didn't touch it. Oh. <laughs> I heard it. Twing. Snap it back together. Okay, well, we won't pee on that. What do you guys want? Got nothing for you. No. You stay on your side, we'll stay on our side. I was thinking I could just back the truck up right here and we could set the tents up in the in the trees here. Yeah. And we could take that tarp and tie it off in the trees or something. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really our best bet. Yeah. Unless you want to go up by the house.
You all ready to go? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Getting the GoPro set up. Nice. The camera on a small tripod over here. Yeah. Got the Tacticam on. There you go. I think the camp is pretty well set up. So, got the back of the truck loaded out for the daily stuff. We've got the hang on stand. We've got my climber. We've got the blind. We've got some muck boots and our packs all loaded up in there. So, we've got the camp chef all set up here. We've got our Coleman kitchen and our table, coolers, all our cooking supplies down there in the boxes. Kristen has got our foot lockers with like clothes and whatnot in them. Tents all set up. Chris's little spoon. I'm big spoon. But uh yeah he's got his cot set up in there. I don't have my cot. I just got a sleep bag set up in there. I'll be alright. But we got plenty of room in the tent. We're gonna do some shooting. Make sure our bows are all still good. It's uh, about 10.30 in the morning right now. It feels like it's about dinner time. It's about 30 degrees. I'm going to try and well, I'll get done checking our bows and then we're going to uh, go do some scouting. Maybe try and do some actual hunting too. You know what's funny? A lot of things. This is that arrow I shot that pig at. Yeah. Passed through the pig. All bloody still. Is that a good omen? Hit right where I'm aiming at. Oh, that's, that's always good. Did you, so you meant to miss? Huh? You meant to miss? I just hit the bottom of the heart. <laughs> Let this be one of those does. Yeah. Did you drop him? Or are we chasing this one? Huh? Did you drop him or are we chasing this one? I mean, we're going to chase like 20 yards. Oh, okay. Unless she's going to pile up. Or he. Nice. Like, Aaron, I'm not supposed to tell anybody this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it. Yep. We got camp all set up, shot the bows, 20, 30, uh, dead on, working good, so. Uh, it was a long drive up. Yep. But uh went pretty well. I mean, 17 hours from the time we left your place until we got here. Well, we stopped and 
downtown, had some breakfast, filled up the truck with some diesel, and uh, ran to Walmart with some last minute stuff. But yeah, got camp all set up, and we already did the tour on that. I think we're gonna go do some scouting now. Go find where those nine does went. Yeah, yeah, you guys saw those nine does. That was, that was a good way to come into camp, seeing those does. So, but we did some, we spent some time on the uh, doing the e scouting thing with Onyx. We got a good, pretty good idea of where we want to kind of focus our efforts. Got a bag of corn and some some Vig and J. We're gonna put out, put a trail camera on that, and then possibly move, maybe if if it's uh, feasible, we'll put a ground blind. If we're seeing a good good enough sign, maybe we'll go set that tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. Yes. We're calling for, I don't know. <laughs> We've heard anything from one to six inches of snow tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow <laughs> night. So, and uh, you already saw Del Casa. Yeah. So. Camp Snuggles. It's going to be fun. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's about 30 degrees. It's right part now. of the adventure. Plus some wind chill. And uh, I think uh, <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. We got our cold weather gear out it's not too bad right now but tomorrow morning is gonna be rough and then tomorrow it's the wind. yeah i think tomorrow tomorrow night and then monday morning sitting in the stands is going to be a little rough i am a little worried about wrong how i'm gonna if i i have a climber i don't know how well that's going to work out the trees around here don't look real conducive to climbers so we'll have to figure it out we'll see how that goes but at any rate, we're gonna get out there and uh, see what we see. We got all rest of the afternoon. It's 11 o'clock. We got six hours of shooting light left. So go get scouted up and maybe even do a sit. Sounds good. So, all right, break.